it's Auntie Jane again. It is day four, and we're going to be doing Mandy the Manta Ray. So I guess you met Auntie Mandy today when you were having your stories, and you've got your new Bible verse and your uh, Bible point and our little Auntie Mandy on there. So we're gonna make a Manta Ray today. So in your kit, you should have a paper plate. Now, I'm not sure if your kit came with a folded paper plate. If it did, you can unfold it and start the way we're going to do it today. Or you can leave it folded, put a little glue, and I used little clips to hold it down. And your manta ray can look like this instead of this. But you can always unfold your plate, okay? So if you have a plate that's already folded and you want it folded like this, Go ahead and put a little glue, oh, where's my glue? Put a little glue between, press it down, put a clip on it, or just hold it for a while, and we're gonna let it dry for a minute, okay? But if you have just a plain paper plate, or you wanna open your folded plate, you can start with me right now. Here's our plate, and about in the middle of the plate, I'll make a dot, okay? And then over here, almost to the middle, another dot on the sides, okay? You draw a line across with your imagination. And you put a dot and a dot here, because that's the middle. And then we draw a line from dot to dot. We just want to cut off a little slice, okay? We're going to bite that off, okay? So our manta ray has a pointy tail. We're going to put her, put her uh, manta ray tail on it, okay? So you're going to cut that off. You cut off your stuff you drew so that you don't see it, all right? So it looks like that. Okay, I've got mine sitting here, and you've got paint, all right? Now, I first started, I painted mine gray, but I believe you have blue in your kit. So I got some blue out so I could follow you, or you could follow doing the same thing as I am, all right? And then you're going to have your paintbrush, whatever paintbrush they gave you, Make sure that you have something down, newspaper or paper towel, something that mom doesn't care about. Or if she says you can do it on the table and you wipe it up, that's okay too. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna paint our whole man array. All right, we're just gonna paint him blue. <laughs> Did you enjoy the story today, Pastor Andrew Dre? I hope you're enjoying this and I hope you are um, excited about your snack today. I'm excited. I'm gonna have my snack, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet because I want it to be a surprise for you. Okay, this is going to be Man Auntie Mandy the Manta Ray. You're gonna wanna fill the whole thing up till you get it all the way blue. It's okay if I get some on my paper because the paper will just get thrown away later. If you press it down, that's okay. See how I'm pressing down the ridges? It's okay, but you are going to need to pop it back up, okay? Just so you don't want to be too rough with it or get it too wet, okay? Remember, it's got to dry, too, so if you get it too wet, it's going to take longer, and then you're going to have to wait longer to finish your manta ray, okay? All right, I think I got it almost covered. But you guys cover it up and do how you want to do. Um, if you have other colors at home, you're welcome to put more colors, but um, use the blue and cover the whole thing up. Remember how we folded the one. If you have one that's folded and that's how you want your manta ray to look, that's okay too because you can take the paint and you can paint your folded paper plate like this and just paint it up mm -hmm. until you get the whole thing painted, okay? Anyways, I won't take a lot of time because we are on the clock. Okay, so you paint that just like you painted this one if this is the style you're making. Okay, but I'm making this style where we cut it. Okay, now earlier I made some so that this would go faster and you can see mine is gray. Okay, I made a gray one. I didn't have blue. I didn't know you were using blue. But now I know. Okay, so you guys have Google Eyes. And I didn't get any in the mail like you did, or I didn't get to pick up any, so I'm gonna have to make my eyes. If you're missing eyes and you don't have Google Eyes at home, you can just draw a circle on white paper. Can you see what I'm doing? And I'm gonna 
fill it in. I'm gonna make a little, a little part where the pupil of the eye is, okay? That's the kind of eye I like to make. Okay, we'll make another one, I'll fill it in. Doesn't have to be perfect. The fun part is how you place them, okay? So now we're gonna place them. Your Google Eyes might be a sticker or you may need to use some glue or tape, okay? So if you want them to look cross-eyed, you can put it like that, okay? <laughs> or you can have them just looking down like he's going through the water. Here's our, here's our one that's finished. He's going through the water and he's looking down to see what's happening, okay? It's coming at you. All right, so you can have them looking down or you can have them cross-eyed like, oh no, I'm gonna run into something, okay? So I would look pretty good cross-eyed. Huh? All right, so there's our manta ray and we're gonna glue, I don't know where my glue went, but you're gonna put a little glue on the back of your Google eyes or your stick, or, or if it has sticker, you can just use the sticker or if you made paper, okay? And then we just put the glue on there. We'll let it dry for a few minutes, okay? And then you'll need your pipe cleaner. And I believe they gave you a pipe cleaner. See mine? Mine's green. So I don't know what color you have, but it'll make all of ours will probably be different, okay? And then on the back, we just glue it. Or you could tape it, okay? And then there he is, Mandy the Manta Ray. I think she's pretty cool. I like her. And if you want Mandy to hang up, you know, you could ask your mom to maybe poke a little hole there and you could hang her from a string and she could hang up. But I think I like mine down here so I can just like play with her. So I hope you enjoyed today's craft, making Auntie Mandy the manta ray. So now you have one of your own and uh, you might want to put it up where you've put your de decorations. Maybe you put your crafts up and put them over by your decorations. So you're the spot that you're using to do VBS. But I want you to remember that we have a Bible point and Auntie Mandy has a saying, God is our savior, okay? He has saved us, all right? And our verse today, oh, it's a long verse. I hope you're gonna be able to remember this. Colossians 1, 16 through 17. I can't even remember the whole thing yet because I just got it just like you. And it goes like this. For in him all things were created things in heaven and on earth, visible or visible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things and in him all things hold together. So I think that's pretty clear that everything absolutely everything in heaven and earth was created by God for God and finds its purpose in God. So I'm thankful for our creator and that he made you and me and I'm thankful that we got to be a little creative today too and make Auntie Mandy the man ray. So you have a good rest of the day. Enjoy your snack. See you tomorrow for the fifth day. I can't believe it's going to be day five. Anyways, I love you. And Jesus loves you too.